welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about um, the tatas, the boobies, the breastfeeding, stuff like that. <laughs> um, so recently, um, about a month ago, I would say that I'm officially done. Done breastfeeding. Um, I was kind of scared to say that, you know, um, it's been a long, long journey. Um, let's see, with four kids, breastfed all of them exclusively for um, at least a year, and then, um, don't mind her, I'll show you. She's watching the show before, you know, the other kids get home. So, anyways. Um, it's really sad. It's sad for me to say that I'm done. Um, let's see what Jeremy, he breastfed for about 18 months. Um, so, Lila breastfed until she was about 14 months. And then I had to force her to stop. Um only because I was pregnant with Elena. I was losing too much weight. Um, I have a condition when I'm pregnant that all I do is vomit the entire time and my body tries to force me to basically get rid of the pregnancy by vomiting, I don't know. It's weird and um, I lose a whole bunch of weight, stuff like that, so I had to stop breastfeeding her. Um, and then Elena was born and Breastfeeding her was good. I actually tandem nursed them for about um, four months, actually, um, until Lila was almost two. She stopped breastfeeding, finished off my pregnancy. She was 18 months old when Elena was born, and then she picked it up again, which was fine with me. So I breastfed her and our sister at the same time. Um, until she was two and she stopped on her own. And then, um, Elena stopped breastfeeding when she was about 30 months, so like almost three years old. And Jonathan, um, he just stopped 33 months. That's how long. So in total, I think I was breastfeeding for probably seven years a long time huh yeah it's a long time to be producing milk and having somebody at your beck and call at all times and stuff like that um and so it's crazy that that journey has you know now ended so now I got to figure out where I'm gonna be where I'm the new stage where I'm gonna be at Um, all my breastfeeding with all my kids was all different. Um, Jonathan's was the most difficult. Um, it started off with that. There's going to be distractions here, so I don't have time to really do this quietly. But it's okay. Um, I don't mind it. <laughs> um, so, um, let me fix this a little bit. There you go. Um, when he was born, Jonathan ha did not know how to suck at all. Um, I thought it was me. I have flat flat nipple on one side, inverted nipple on the other side. I did a whole bunch of different techniques. From breastfeeding my other kids, I knew how to latch, what's a good latch, what's not a good latch, if there's tongue ties or lip ties or anything like that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. She's trying to pick out a piece of chocolate. So, um, he just didn't know how to suck at all and I always thought you know I can be this big brave macho woman when he was one week old yes one one week actually he was five days old and I went to Las Vegas <laughs> we went to Vegas had a family vacation and then after Las Vegas we went to Utah um, we were there for a few days and then we drove up to Boise, Idaho for a family reunion. 
We were at the reunion for about four days of Idaho. We drove back down to Utah and we were there for two or three days, something like that. And then we came home. Um, so we were gone a total of like nine days. And it, I thought it was super woman. I was a brave woman. It was, when I got home, it was the worst thing ever. Um, and he still wasn't breastfeeding very well. After that, we um, had to go to a lactation consultant, stuff like that, and do um, weighted feeds and stuff like that. Um, I had to teach him how to suck. I wasn't going to give him a pacifier, binky, or whatever anybody calls it. We called it a binky here at my house. So we weren't going to give him a binky at all. And, um... But I had to. I had to teach him how to suck. He would suck on it, suck on it, suck on it, suck on it. And then, like, put him up to the breast as fast as I could because, or else he would forget. And, like, I would have to pinch my breast because it would be so full of milk. Press some of the milk out, express, and then, like, push him up as, like, best as I could to get him to start, like, latching really good. And so... Um, we didn't really get a good latch. We mean him and I, we didn't really start our, like, really our breastfeeding journey until, I would say he was like a month and a half. And it was really hard, really difficult. We didn't supplement at all, um, because I was determined to breastfeed. Um, I've always been that way. Um, Elena was my only child who actually had any kind of formula at all. She was a month and a half old. No, she was one month, exactly one month old, and I had to have an emergency surgery. And um, I had pumped milk here at home. She had to be with um, my parents. My parents took her and the other kids overnight. We had surgery, stuff like that. And while I was gone for those hours, for whatever reason, one didn't bring the milk along with him to my mom's house which is fine so she had a few bottles of formula and that was it really and so I didn't want to give him formula I didn't want to I was going to be successful at breastfeeding him so I pushed on I pushed forward um, and then I would say he was about five months old and we had our first round of thrush and um, he had the rush in his mouth and his tongue um, and got that all healed up, everything. And then in, so that was like around November and then December, I got mastitis really bad. It was the worst. I have had mastitis before with my other kids, but it was like the worst I ever had it. Um, I had to be on two rounds of antibiotics because it was just persistent. It was bad. Um, and so I healed up from that and everything. And then, so that was right, right around six months old for him. And then in February, I had got um, thrush inside of my milk ducts. It was excruciating pain. I had no clue what was going on. He didn't have thrush at all. Um, uh, the lactation consultant and I kind of assumed that I could have got it from not, I didn't sterilize the pump very well or something and that caused bacteria to go up inside of my milk ducts. Lucky that he didn't get it, but I had it in in my milk ducts and it was like a burning sensation. My letdown was burnt would burn when my when I would fill up, it would burn really bad. When he would latch, um, it was I had to bite down on something. I'm just thinking about it, I'm like my body is shaking because it was excruciating pain. Um, and then I got it in like on my nipples and that was I, I literally thought that my nipples were going to fall off like legit going to fall off it hurt so bad they were cracked and they would bleed just bad 
um, I ended up having getting clots inside of my milk ducts and so like thick clots would come out and um, I'm not even adding into the part where he had laryngomalacia which was um, a difficulty with his throat that caused um, acid reflux and stuff like that where he was losing weight and and so it was just like this big whole thing about feeding was a nightmare with him um, he was on steroids to get that fixed because it would be burning stuff like that and so um, I thought well maybe it could have been from this or that but no as I think about it it could have been from that um, I am a cow I call myself a cow, Jersey May cow. I produce so much milk. Um, I, when I was um, breastfeeding Elena and Lila at the same time, I was also producing enough milk to supply to a friend um, to feed her baby 100% on my milk. Um, I produced about 33 ounces of milk a day a day that was a lot I could do about a thousand ounces of milk in about six to seven days and I just produced a lot a lot um, and so with Jonathan, I produced a lot too, and I was like, I had an oversupply, and he would gasp and stuff at when the when my when my letdown would happen because he would just gasp on it; it would just come too fast. And when that happened, when I had the thrush inside of my milk ducts, um, I felt that I was burning from the inside out. It would I could feel like the route that it would take and go down out of me it was horrible so then I had another round of antibiotics luckily all these antibiotics were fine with breastfeeding obviously um, and then after that um, February I into March we finally got that healed up and then it took months for my nipples to finally heal stuff like that and then I had another round of mastitis it was one thing after another and my mom's like I don't know how you're doing this I if I were you I would have given up a long time ago but me I am super convicted to breastfeeding um, I breastfed on demand anything that they needed like boom boobies there um, my I fed during the nights you know like my husband never really helped I would wake up feed the baby transfer him off the babies off to him he would change the diapers burp everything and then put them back to bed so I had my job he had his job and so so we had our own little jobs and um, when Jonathan was about a year old um, I I tried to slow down a little bit but then he started having other issues and so that's when I had made the decision that I was just going to let him wean himself. I wasn't going to push it. Um, I had a lot of regrets when I stopped breastfeeding Lila. And um, it might make me tear up a little bit because that's a sensitive subject for me. Um, so I did the same thing with Elena. I just let her choose. I let now, Then I let him choose when... Um, when they were going to stop when they didn't need that comfort or that extra whatever it was um, from me um, when I say I, I gave my all to my kids I, I literally gave my all to my kids um, and I'm proud of that I'm proud of that aspect for myself I've been on you know talked about it a little bit on my um, very well my second video about trying to find myself couldn't figure out who I was or who I am you know outside of being a mom and a wife and and everything um, and so breastfeeding is something that like helped me identify myself 
and um, now I don't have that anymore. And so I'm going through all these like little emotions and psychological stuff that I've been dealing with. And so I'm just trying to, um, you know, now find my new place, figure out a way to be something else to my kids and not necessarily that because that stage is done for me. Um, being pregnant is horrible for me. Um, what I personally enjoy is being in labor and delivering my babies and having the bond and connection with them by breastfeeding and stuff like that. Me not just like carrying them on the inside and you know nourishing them and giving them everything the best that I can while they're inside of me because that aspect is horrible. It's not fun for me. Um, I'm sick from the moment of conception all the way through my pregnancies until like I'm in labor and I'm puking my guts up because my body just can't stand it and I have an autoimmune disorder which causes it like the pains really bad um, the joints my hips it's just horrible and so like that's what I enjoy and um, I'm out of that stage of life now I am moving on from that Jonathan's gonna be three and just two months really um well three months technically but um it's just now turning over you know this is going to be a new stage for me figuring it out for myself i'm proud of what i was able to do and provide for my kids from from me physically only myself um, I wasn't a person who like lost a dramatic amount of weight. I actually, every time I breastfed, I gained weight and um, I would lose weight while being pregnant and then keep it off for about a month to two months and then I would just gain the weight back, whatever I was before I got pregnant. Um, and so with basically all my pregnancies, I think I gained like 12 pounds through all all of my pregnancies I did not gain weight at all like 12 pounds that was it and um, so I started out one weight with Jonathan um, I think I was about 240 pounds 245 something like that when I got pregnant with him and then when I delivered him I had lost down to 207 pounds that's what I delivered at was 207 pounds and so like my body doesn't know how I don't know I I just lose weight while I'm pregnant if I want to lose weight I get pregnant but then I just after I just gain it all back I don't I don't know why my body does that um, because I just puke my my entire pregnancy but um, his breastfeeding journey was exhausting um i gave a lot of myself to that and um he demanded milk all the time demanded um he was happy he wanted to nurse he was sad he wanted to nurse he was angry he wanted to nurse um you would get upset he wanted to nurse he got hurt he would want to nurse um it would be at odd moments and he would just one buoy that's what he called it buoy he wanted buoy 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 um and i was okay with that for a long time and then i started to get really drained of it and started wanting my body back and i kind of would get upset when he wanted to nurse i would be um i would get kind of angry when when he wanted to nurse and that was at that point i was at the lowest of low that i'd ever been with my depression and i didn't want to give anything to anybody else cuz i had nothing to give even though i still was producing milk like crazy even though um i knew that i wanted to breastfeed him my mind wouldn't allow me to um and that was a, when 
he was about two years old, just at, around his birthday. And that was like my lowest point I had ever been at. Yeah, but I pushed through. I pushed through that. I, um, that's when I started the keto diet. Um, that's when I started losing weight. That's when my brain health got a lot better. My joint pain was so much better. I wasn't in pain as much. I could actually do things. I could enjoy, I could start enjoying life again. And so I had just decided, you know, let's just push through. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what my, my mind and my body can do for me. And um, it took me about, I would say a week or so to finally get to the point where I was okay with breastfeeding again. I was okay with him wanting to breastfeed at naps and at, at, at bedtime. Um, I had cut him down to only one time a day because that's all I could give. I couldn't do any more than that. And he had kind of got used to that and then he got super sick and it just reverted right back into in the morning and then afternoon and then at night. And as I started getting better, I started getting okay more with breastfeeding him at those times. So I have had the honor of breastfeeding not just my own four kids, but um, two nephews and a niece. Um, I am a firm believer of not letting a baby go hungry, especially if it's a breastfed baby who doesn't take bottles. Um, I'm babysitting, I'm there, I have it, go on ahead, be, like, I'm okay with that. Um, I've also supplied breast milk to friends, several friends. One of them actually did for nine months because she needed that for her daughter. And um, they had questions, they wanted to know how to increase their supply, they wanted know to decrease their supply because they had an oversupply um, any questions that they may have I would help them I would they would call on me and I, I'm an open book when it comes to that I have a lot of knowledge in it and I'm happy to help in any kind of way my my husband and my mom were both like oh you should become a lactation consultant or you should do this or you should do that of you know the boobies kind of way um, and I thought about it, but I don't think that I want to dedicate my life to it. If people have questions, I always have answers. I don't know if you guys have, you know, breastfed that long or beyond. Are you just stop at a year or beyond or before six months? Like whatever your, your goal is. Um, I never put a goal on myself of how long I want to breastfeed for. Um, I never did. Um, when I stopped breastfeeding Lila and So when I stopped breastfeeding her, um, sorry, it's all wobbly. Um, it broke my heart. Um, it really hurt me really bad. And so after that, I had never, I never put a time limit or a goal or anything like that on how long I w we were gonna go for with my other children, whatever ones I was gonna have after that. And so, um, yeah, 33 months and I'm done. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to answer any questions or um, anything that you may have if you have any concerns. Um, I was really, um, what helped me was support groups. Sometimes people in my life weren't very um, supportive and so... I had to rely on myself and outside venues or outside people of my life to help me. Um, Heidi Kim from Heidi Kim TV channel here on YouTube, um, she gave me a lot of tips and tricks to do to help me get through a lot of things and baby wearing and stuff like that. So if you have anything, please let me know. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, my other kids got home from school, homework Bye. and stuff to do now. And so that'll be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys next time. Hold on. Bye everybody. Bye. Have a, have a great day.